roll call. Okay, roll call. Pete McIntyre, Vice Chair. Jerry Tominski, member. Steve Munger, Gary, Sh Gary Schneider, member. Kate Diploma Herb, Board of Ed member. Wayne Donaldson, Ledger Public Schools. George Hosey, member. Stephen June, Silver Petroselli. Dan Hetzler, ONG. Okay, welcome to the two committee, Mr. Hosey. Thank you. <laughs> okay, my apologies for my terrible video. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. <laughs> Well, you got sworn in today, so you're eligible for any of the voting, so you're a solid member now. Okay. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes for October 12th, 2021. I'll second, second. that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Feedback I have corrections. Okay. Go ahead, sure. Um, under Gales Ferry School, there's a bullet that says HVAC thermostat has not been replaced and monitor for radon system. And then it ends. It sounds like there was more to be said there. What about the monitor for the radon system? Yeah, I think the comment might be to has not been implemented. And that would be Gallup Hill, not Gales Ferry. That's a good point too. Okay, so under oh Gallup Hill School, that's all I have. So is it, that's all I have. I don't have anything more. So I just have thermostat has not been replaced. I don't know. I just have a monitor radar system. Does anybody recall? <laughs> That's all I have. Yeah, the radon was that uh, we were still waiting for Johnson Controls to hook up the monitoring for it. So maybe I'm supposed to say it has not been replaced as well as the monitor. Okay, so I'm yeah. sorry, say that again, Wayne. The radon, the monitoring for the radon by Johnson Controls has not been hooked up yet. Okay. And the thermostat in room... Thing of 148 was next. yeah we have the th maybe that's what i was you know thermostat has not been replaced and the monitor for radon system has not been installed mm -hmm. all right so i'll go ahead and, and i'll change it to um gallup hill okay under middle school it says mold and condensation in gym has not persuaded i'm not sure what that <laughs> was meant to mean either Uh, I'm not sure either. I said has not been pursued. <laughs> oh, pursued. Yeah. yeah we're still pursuing. That's not persuaded. That's pursued. Um, okay. In the minutes, it's persuade. I have P U R S U E D. No, it's U A D A D E here, the Lisa. Really? Yep. Honest. Yeah, it says has not persuaded it. Okay. Um, my copy says pursued, and that's what gets. I'll fix it, but yeah, I don't know. I, I can't explain that one. And then in the sentence after that, it says, Wayne stated they have found leaks in seams in roof units, small puddle, which is fine, but seams is spelled S-E-E-M-S. -E -E Normally I wouldn't care about <laughs> spelling, except in this case, nope. um, it changes the meaning of the sentence from, you know, this, this, this suggests that there seems to be a leak which is not the case. There is a leak in the seams as the AMS. Okay. That was it. Thank you. Very good, George. Thank you. So be admitted, right, Lisa? I got them all. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. As the, as amended, will I approve the minutes for uh, October 12th, 2021? All of the favor. Anybody else approve the minutes besides Pete McIntyre? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Gary had seconded it. Okay. Do you want us to go through the roll, Pete? What's that? Do you want us to each say our approval? 
Yeah, this would prove the this prove the minutes for uh, October twelfth, twenty twenty one as amended. Kate De Palma Herb, aye. Gary Schneider, aye. George Hosey, aye. Okay, minutes have uh, been approved as written as amended. I mean, okay. Um, excuse me one second, Pete. I see somebody else on. Um, did somebody else come into the meeting, sign in, as, or as a as a role player? I don't know. I see an R. J. Kelly. Yes. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I'm listening in for a homework assignment. Oh, okay. So are you a student? I am a student. Okay. I also had a quick question too. When these videos are recorded, where can I find these? Is there a a part on the website I can find these meetings? They're on the um. It's the iCompass portal where the meetings and agendas are. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Okay. Yep. You're welcome. Okay. We're ready to proceed. Uh, Wayne, what do you have on the uh, letter uh, to improve the progress, projects? Okay. Hey, um, we'll start with the uh, middle school. Um, we haven't had much, well, basically nothing has been um, done there. We did come up with a couple of additional issues. Um, the, um, there was a question on the roof drains on the gym area, uh, because we're getting a lot of water coming out the, uh, overflows. Um, and that's usually, you should only get that when you have a backup, um, uh, in the main drain for some reason. Um, the, um, uh, that's going to cause a problem in the future with, um, deterioration of the, the bricks and the mortar on the outside of the building. Um, so Steve June is working on that. Um, Johnson Controls was out, uh, confirmed that the jumper that was left on the um, chiller should have been removed. Um, so they came out and, and uh, addressed that and confirmed that the uh, other contract that I brought in um, was proper in removing that. Um, they also looked at the uh, BFD on unit three uh, and confirm that they will be um, addressing that, either replacing it or bringing in parts, depending on what ABB says on that drive. Uh, other than that, really haven't seen much um, work undone. Um, Dan, I never got a response. A while back, I had sent you out a, um, you and Corey, um, an email on the um, computer stations in the media center that were never electrically hooked up? Uh, he didn't bring that to my attention. Okay. I'll forward it over to you. Yeah, there's there's desks of computers in there that were never powered. Um, they should, there's power outlets and stuff on them, but they never brought up from the, uh, uh, from the connections down on the floor. Okay, so we'll have to see if that's a technology connection or if that would be um, something, you know, that was bought in the base bit contract. Okay. Um, if you have a photo of it, that would, it would help me. Yeah. Research I can take that a out. photo. I did. I, if I don't have one, I'll go get one. I'm sure I took one. I just got to find it on my phone and I'll send it over. Um, that's pretty much what I have for the middle school. Okay. Steve, what do you got on the middle school? You're muted, You're Steve. Steve. Sorry. I okay. didn't get to... Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, as Wayne had said, we were out there uh, last week uh, taking a look at a few of the issues. Uh, the roof drain in particular, uh, the two roof drains, um, or two sets of roof drains above the gym. Um, Dan had sent us an email, or sent me an email, saying that he was going to get the roof or a roofing contractor out there to take a look at some extension collars inside the uh, overflow drain, because right now they're almost at the same height. Um, and then we looked at uh, the uh, ladder enclosure, which was installed in the mechanical room. It should have been installed in the uh, stairwell of the new addition. Uh, and then uh, Wayne and I had talked about uh, the chill, the relief valve for the rooftop unit, as well as the chiller uh, uh, geographically located. Uh, I'm working with Addy on that. Uh, Addy's been out a few days, so 
I'll dig back into that. Thanks, Steve. Well, Dan, is Corey yet still involved in this project? Uh, no, he is not. Uh, I have a different superintendent that I've been working with that has been monitoring a little bit of the work that we have over at, uh, that we've done over at the Gallup Hill School. Um, and then he'll be riding herd on the, uh, on the work that we have pending over at Gallup Hill. Um, yep, his name is Scott Macy. Okay, Scott, so Corey's no longer, who's involved with the middle school? Anybody besides yourself? Uh, well, Scott, Scott will be, um, oh. there's one action item that we're gonna self-perform over there. Um, and Scott will be doing that work. What Scott item is that? What's that? That's the, uh, the chains on the poles for the window shades, okay. for the blinds. Yep. Yep. Um, I'll have them do that on the 17th when we're out at Gallup Hill with the, uh, with the masonry cleaner. Okay. All right. Yep. And just to bring, uh, just to the, the, the roof drain bowls, you know, like as mentioned, the overflow drain is only about two inches higher than the, the primary drain. And so I reached out to the plumbing contractor who's pipe you know, who provided that drain body um, to see if there's an extension that can bring the, the pipe level up um, as, as similar to what Steve mentioned. Dan, you hear anything else on the middle school? Um, nope, no. Nope. Quick question. In light of September's issues, have there been any repeat um, reports of mold or mildew, auditorium, gym, any of that? following all the rain we had last week? No, there has not. Thank the, you. The uh, roofing contractors were out uh, to seal up um, all the areas that uh, were found with leaks. Um, I don't know where, maybe Dan, you can update us on Action Air's uh, plan to seal the roofs of those units. Uh, that's gonna fall under JCI's warranty work. And so it's, I'd have to, I don't have an answer for you now as far as when they're going to be out or what action they're going to take. Okay. But as, as Wayne mentioned, um, you know, the issue we had it reoccurring at, on certain rain events on the new addition, the three story portion uh, was found back about, uh, about a month ago. Um, and the roof counter flashing was installed on that in those particular units. And then recently over the last couple of weeks, the roofing contractors come out to install similar counter flashing on all of the units on the rest of the building. Do you have any update on how we're going to deal with the invoices for that? The trade is 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 just not happy about it, but it's um, it's out there as far as what they have. Um, you know, there the timing was bad in that you know they didn't have an opportunity to come out and do the work themselves. Um, well, at this, point, um, this was something that Corey was supposed to have done back in May when I met with him. Yeah, and we appreciate the fact that you were able to find, you know, with a water test where that condition was and having the roofing contractor step up and, and you know, do all the remaining units, uh, you know, roughly 600 linear feet of flashing was installed. Um, but that's, you know, that's not relative to your point, which is, you know, there's a bill out there now that's, that's got to get paid for, uh, for the roof test and, uh, and the flashing work that was, that was done. All right, we paid it. We just need to be reimbursed for it. And, and we have the funds on Greenwood Roofing to, uh, to implement that. Okay. Now, where do we stand on the rest of the ladders and hatches and stuff so the the two items there that remain is the post ups um, i've gone ahead and ordered those i had to issue a letter to in, in regard to that roof um, the roof ladder that's at the stair tower that's um, you know on the far end of the building mm -hmm. um, the contractor's not you know he failed in his first attempt and and that that roof enclosure or that ladder enclosure wasn't up to snuff um, I've reached out to two additional miscellaneous metal contractors to get numbers uh, to get the work done on the steel guy's behalf. Uh, I did some research and basically somewhere between four to 900 bucks, you can buy the enclosure. Well, that would be, 
have them custom made. You know, they don't doesn't have to be custom made. No, they're 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 a standard width. It's just the padding off the wall right. that would be unique. Right. And then they have those also, depending. So if if yeah. there's a you know if there's a way out here that that works around um, you know having the work done by anyone that's that you might know or that that would come in and do satisfactory work. Um, you know, I have the the value of those funds still withheld from the miscellaneous metals contractor. So I'll get you the back. information uh, tomorrow and send it over. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, that's all I have for the middle school. Yep. Um, okay. Go ahead. Yep. Wayne, what do you got on the uh, Gallup Hill School? All right, Gallup Hill, the... Um, uh, again, we haven't had very much done out there. I don't know if um, Johnson Controls has um, hooked up the radon yet. Um, we do still have some leaks in the ceiling uh, in room 224, I believe it was. Could be off on the room number. Uh, this is the one we believed was coming in through the air conditioning units again. Um, so, I mean, that's where we stand. Um, Dan, do you have any update on the uh, timeout room where that's being finished or updated? I didn't get a chance to take a look or have Scott take a look at the painting that's required, if that's what you're referring to. Well, more, I mean, I didn't think there was any painting left, but there might be. Um, a more look, right now they have a construction core in the door. Um, that had an existing core and everything on the other door. So the old lock set should have gone back on. I don't know what they did with it or where the core is that they took out of the original door. That core was one of the three cores that were um, sent to you back when we, when we provided a few cores back a couple months ago. So when I was told was that, that you were familiar and that, that you had the core and that you'd be swapping that core out with the change key. Okay. If you have. That's fine. Okay. I thought those were for other things, but I can. No, you bought one extra for that room. Okay. Yeah. All right. So basically, and we're also getting that noise back in the, uh, in the piping. Now I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure that this is um, AC noise um or cold water noise at this point um because the teacher sent me two issues on saturday the 16th when they were in there working and one last saturday and i'm thinking that we're going back and checking the records in the bms system but i'm thinking that the um, um it was too cold to be running the chiller so, I mean, I could be wrong. I got to go back and find out what the temperature was those two Saturdays. Um, I know it got fairly warm last, this past Saturday with the rain. So it's possible it did come on. Um, but the only thing is we had that on bypass to keep the uh, speed of that pump up. Uh, and we had just cut that back and all of a sudden the noise is back. This is just on Saturdays, you know, um, This is the, the only time that she had complained or heard about it, but we hadn't, uh, we had made some adjustments on, put that on a bypass uh, cycle to allow, to, um, to, which seemed to eliminate the noise. We took that bypass cycle back off and that's when the noise came back. So it really shouldn't be on bypass. It was like a temporary thing we did to, to try it. I don't have any additional information on that. I know that the issue was noted and that the trade was out uh, back in the early part of the year and, uh, and then had two actions. One was to to make an adjustment and then the second was to top off with glycol and both of those activities were done. Yeah. Um, I was not then, aware that they, uh, I was just told by my, uh, uh, Bob, the guy that's basically managing it, that they had put it on an override. 
So I'm not sure why. He's, so I know he had been working with them on that. So I'm sure it, I would suspect it was at the uh, direction or agreement with uh, JCI or Action Air. Uh, so if we get any more information on it, we can, you know, we can take it back to the trade. I'm not sure what, you know, what the action there would be. And it's uh, Wayne. Yeah, where do we stand on the plantings? There were supposed to be a bunch of plantings that were being replaced. We're at the end of the growing season now. They did this last year, and a lot of what they planted died. Yeah, and I had that as an action item, Wayne. I have the four trees that we spoke to earlier in the season, um, yep. and I did not get uh, an opportunity to follow up with Gerber to see where where the plantings were at. Okay. Too late to start planting. Um, the trees are dormant now. You can you can put them in. Uh, it's, it's it's past the optimal season of of you know October fifteenth is is pretty much the end of what would be optimal. Um, yeah, right. the dead ones at the uh, middle school blew right over, just in the storm. Okay, we'll be uh, we'll be by to check on those. Okay. And Steve, then, you have anything? You were muted, Steve, but I think that yeah. was a quickie. I, I, I just realized that. Yeah. No, I have nothing. Nothing else. Uh, so just just to update Wayne on the when the roofer was out uh, checking the unit on Friday for the, that leak that you shared with me on Thursday. Yep. Um, we did find a similar condition where the EPDM was not uh, or the the PVC in this case was not up and tucked tight to the unit. And so uh, we have actually in uh, it's Greenwood roofing that has the action to get back out. I checked with them today, but didn't hear back on when they'll be out to put in a similar uh, termination bar and counter flashing on that unit. Okay. Can, can I ask a question? So I understand you, um, you asked them and you didn't, they didn't get back to you, but what would be your expectation? Are you expecting them to be out this week? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then the other thing is the thermostat was now installed in that room 148. Oh, good. Um, any news on the heating issue in that room? Uh, that's in Silver Petroselli's court as far as coming up with a with some alternative uh, piping or you know source of heat. Correct, and uh, we are working on it. So I will follow up. Um, I sent uh, our mechanical engineer an email on Friday. I'll follow up uh, after this meeting. And I, I, I will also tell you that um, we're finding where we've had a couple of thermostats that are bad, um, that the temperature in the room is significantly different than what the thermostat is reading. Uh, and the system is reading. Um, and by changing the thermostat out with a new one, we were able to correct the issues in a couple of rooms at Gallup Hill. Uh, I don't know why we're having failed thermostats this early, but. Um, well, they've been in, yeah, they, they made a lot of them in the portion of the building that was first renovated. They're at three yeah. plus years of service. Right, this is not in that section. This is in the other, so it's about two years. Two years of service. Yeah. And the rooms were reading three or four degrees warmer than what the thermostat was. When we shot the temperature in the rooms. Right. And as soon as we put the new thermostat on, it read exactly what we were shooting. So it happens, but just be aware in case it continues. Hey, Wayne, have you uh, co coordinated with the new uh, supervisor, Scott? No. Is that going to happen, Dan? Uh, yeah, they'll meet. They didn't get a chance, or when Scott was there a couple of times, um, he didn't run across Wayne, but I'm sure they will. Let's just set something up so Wayne and him can get on the same page, please. Yep. Is that okay with you, Wayne? Yes, please. Thank you. 
So tomorrow, actually, he was going to Gallup Hill to take some measurements for the uh, additional pads that we talked about for the yep. stage. Yep. Um, I'll find out what time he's headed over and. Uh, yeah, just and have him call me. Heads up. Let me know and I'll meet him there. It's not a problem. Great. Yep, that's the other thing I've uh, I've made direct contact with uh, with Northeast uh, Sports Equipment to be providing those those pads. Okay. Wayne, um, yep, so yep. when if you said it already and I missed it, I apologize. But when you're mm -hmm. replacing those thermostats, is that something that the schools are paying for? Yes. Okay, and how much do those cost? I believe they're around two hundred and thirteen dollars each. And how many do we have in each school, approximately? Oh, got to be a hundred to one hundred and fifty. Yeah, and I would expect them to last longer than two years. Is there a manufacturer's issue with those? I don't know. Like I said, if you know, we've had two. If we continue to get them, then I'll look into it. Um, I did get a couple of spare. I did purchase a couple of spares just so we have them rather than wait for them to come in, especially the way we're having problems getting material. Okay, it just that makes me a little nervous if. We've got hundreds. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That, that adds up quick. Yeah. And I don't know how many, seeing we just found this um, Thursday, um, we haven't gone in and verified other rooms. Okay. So, you know, we need to go through and verify that the temperatures we're reading in the rooms are what we're seeing on the thermostats. Is that something, I know that your, your team is very busy, but is that something that could be put on, on a to-do list to try to get ahead of it? Yeah, um, we'll get ahead of it. It's just, uh, we're concentrate on the rooms where we're having the constant complaints of heat or cold. Okay. Uh, we'll start with those because that's most likely where the problem, where a problem would show up. Uh, and then once we get through those, we'll move on to the other ones. Okay, yeah, because if it's gonna end up being a lot of them, I, I'd rather identify it while we could still be in a reasonable window to do something about it. Yeah. No, okay. I agree. Thank you, Wayne. No problem. Wayne, what's the manufacturer's warranty on those? What do we have as a warranty? Do you know? I don't know. I got to go back into the book, but my gut feeling is everything else from Johnson Controls was a, a year to two years. So you we're know? probably we're probably yeah. outside warranty. We're probably outside warranty on it, yeah. You know, I'll verify it and double check. I'm trying to check now just to look through the submittals. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you. Well, anything else on Galva Hill? Galva Hill, please. You all set, Dan? Uh, yep. Our <laughs> next activity is uh, is bringing out a, uh, a masonry contractor to wash some of the portions of the exterior masonry where there's efflorescent and put some sealer on. Um, and that I have scheduled for the 17th and 18th uh, in the afternoons, uh, coordinating with Wayne and, and that's when we'll pick up our self-perform work as well. Uh, a couple other little items that were on the list, the replacement of the exterior door handles, we hope are, are available uh, on that date. Um, there was one other thing I would have to check, but we're gonna you know, we'll put the resource on the site again on that date. I, um, while you're checking into things, can you also check with Park Railway? Um, I talked with uh, Bill Peterman from uh, the, the vendor for the, all the hardware, door locks and stuff. Um, and he said he had shipped uh, Park Railway complete um, arms for the closers to replace everyone in the building. <coughs> and they didn't when they came out. Um, so he was following up with them also. These were the hold open. Yeah, the hold units. open. So now there was a list of 48 that we replaced. It wasn't, it's not every door. It's the doors that were specified to have hold opens. Okay, well, some of the ones that were specified don't have them, like classroom doors. You'd have to be specific. I mean, we checked a couple One, of times. 116. Room 116? Is one, yeah. But there's multiple classrooms that did not get the new arms. 
If I need to go through and make another list, I will. Um, I can, you know, I had I had Corey do that as well as, uh, you know, I was had the the trade down there when they were doing that and checking out rooms. So, uh, if you know, if you're aware of them, you know, let us know. But I, I just I, I will get the list together. That's all I have, Pete. Okay, thank. You. Okay, going on. Uh, got a couple of change orders that are, are base base have been updated. Okay, change order number two twenty eight OG industry for Gallup Hill, uh, in the amount of two thousand um, negative two thousand two hundred fifty five five dollars uh, for site work allowance. I'll second that. All in favor? Be back in our aye. Jerry Timinski, aye. Steve Munger, aye. Jerry Schneider, aye. Kate Palma Herb, aye. George Hosey, aye. Okay, been approved. Uh, change order 228 is uh, approved as moved. As moved uh, Change order number 224 for ONG for Gallup Hill School for, for $0 for, for uh, IVAC independent verification. Uh, I'll move that we will accept that at change order. I'll second that. Dan, do we have to do the zero when it's the close amount? Yeah, the reason that I produced this zero dollar document is to whenever I moved funds from a trade contractor to the general conditions for ONG, um, I make sure that there's a there's a committee action. Oh, so so there were moves within. Okay, I, I understand. Yeah, this was uh, this constituted actionaires acceptance of the back charge for the costs for the additional balancer and then JCI to assist in that balancing operation that we did uh, earlier this spring. Okay, so this gives you an audit trail. All right. Yep. Okay, all in favor of uh, approving uh, change order 224? Say aye. Uh, Pete McIntyre, aye. Jerry Chemitsky, aye. Steve Munger, Bertuzzi, aye. Kate Tapama Herb, aye. And Gary, I think you were on mute, but I saw you say it. I have read his lips. <laughs> read my lips. <laughs> okay, motion is approved. Uh, change order has been approved. Going on, we have a couple of invoices. Okay, and Kate and Kate get out of here. <laughs> okay, we have a motion to. Uh, Approve the single engineering solutions uh, invoice for 3160 for letter bit of school to bring the amount of $1,543.20. Covering what? Oh, what? Oh, Covering sorry. what? Uh, for occupancy and operations phase. So this is the closeout invoice from your commissioning agent, uh, Sustainable Engineering Systems. This is a, an invoice that's been tabled for a couple of months here, awaiting a final report from SES. Um, we've been playing some phone tag. I received an email earlier this week, no, earlier last week, in which uh, you know he, he responded to me saying that he was ready to to sit down and meet. Um, I responded to him. You know, offering that what we need to do is really try to set down on both the projects uh, so that I can get some contractor base involvement. Um, at this point, the invoice is is really in suspension until we have that sit down close out discussion. So, Dan, you want to table this right now? Well, you'd be you haven't gotten what your final report, which is really what you know that invoice represents. Okay, so that you'd answer the question. 
And has anything, I'm just asking because of all the emails, some of them I forwarded to you and Wayne last week, um, must be someone from the accounting. Has that date been sent? Because she's going to email me again tomorrow to see what happened today. No, the- uh, Any information I can give her? Just that, um, that, that Walker and I haven't had a chance to pick a date in which we can sit down and meet. Okay. So this is eight. I'm going to second the motion just so that this discussion can go against a, an actual motion. Even if we vote not to approve the invoice, I want to be able to get the discussion on the record. Yeah, I approve the motion. Yeah, and Kate just seconded. Okay. All in favor? Well, so I think with our discussion, maybe we're saying that we don't want to approve payment. Okay. Is that yeah. Well, I, 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 we don't want to approve it. We want to table it until we get the report. Yeah. That's exactly right. Okay. So could we put that we had a discussion and, and determined to table it, put that in the minutes? That, that'd okay. be good, good solutions, Teresa. Okay. Thank you. Dan, who's that coming to the final report? You? Uh, no, it's actually the commissioning agent is your third party owner's representative. So they, uh, they would issue the report to the, to the town. Okay, it comes to, uh, to us then? Yes. Okay, one other motion to approve AIA application number 35 for ONG and industries for Gallup Hill School in the amount of $58,613.28. Did you, I'm sorry, Pete, there's one, um, there's the AIA application for SPA for the 679 before I think, I, I'm out of order a little bit, I'm sorry. Okay, no, that's okay. Yeah, this motion now is for the ONG. Okay. And what is covered in this fifty-eight thousand six hundred thirteen dollars and twenty-eight cents? It's just their just their expenses up to date. It's monthly expenses, right there. It's yeah, there's one, actually. Uh, yeah, on the. Sorry. We performed some additional work at the trades uh, that that the trades are billing for. Um, specifically, in here is the door work that's been ongoing through the summer and and now recently culminated in a door replacement to the cafeteria and the, uh, that safe room that Wayne and I were speaking to earlier. Um, and then there was some flooring and one, one guy's contract had $487 left. And then there was painter that had come out and done some work above and beyond the contract to uh, wrap up some punch list work. So you have Thank two you. trades that that are now closed out in the in the uh, in the list of trade contractors. Thank you. Uh, motion is carried. We have a motion to approve AIA application twenty one dash twenty sixty nine for Silver Petrosella Associates for the Gallup Hill School in the amount of six hundred seventy nine dollars. Dollars. Um. I'm sorry, who, I don't have a second for who, from the last, the A, from the last, the ONG invoice? That Did was, somebody second that? Yeah. I'll second it. Yeah. No, Jay said it, you should second it the first time, didn't you? I'm sorry. I don't think so, but I'll second it now. Okay, thank you. Do we want to vote on that one then, the payment to ONG? I would do a roll call. Please. Hey, uh, Pete McIntyre, aye. Jerry Tomisky, aye. Gary Schneider, aye. Unmuted. Steve Munger, aye. Kate DePama Herb, aye. George Hosey, aye. Okay, motion is carried. Okay, motion to approve AIA application number 21 2069 for Silver Petrus LA Associates for Scalp Hill School. The amount of six hundred and seventy nine dollars. This is Kate Tamaha Herb. I'll second.
Pete McIntyre, aye. Jerry Tomiski, aye. Uh, Gary Schneider, aye. Steve Munger, aye. Kate Tapama Herb, aye. George Tozzi, aye. Okay, motion is carried. Okay, that takes care of all the things. Kate, you're set if you need to get out of here. Or not. Hey, Kate, are you still there, Kate? Yep, yes, I'm here. I yeah. Just want to wish, I just want to wish you luck tomorrow. Likewise. Okay. okay. Good luck okay, to good you luck. too. Good luck. I'm going to hang on for a few minutes. The next meeting doesn't start till six and I'm sitting in the room where it, it will. I purposely came here so that I wouldn't have to rush out. So I'll hang with you guys for about 10 more minutes. Okay. <laughs> hey, um, hey, just to let you know, I did some digging into the warranty for the automatic temperature controls. Okay. And it is 12 months. I did send the snippet off to Wayne. Okay. Um, I, I could read it if you want, but it's it's 12 months. No, I, I believe you. I just, it's, if it just ends up being those two, maybe it's a fluke, but it, if Wayne's team determines that it's more than that, I, I feel like maybe we need to check and see if there's something more to it because at $213 a pop, that's going to add up if there's a lot. Understood. And if the next set only, only lasts two years, then we're, we've got a long road on these. Yes. Understood. Thank you. Thanks, Kate. Uh, this uh, is Legend High School track and field project. Uh, Before we leave the uh, building projects, I just want to let you know that um, uh, I did finally get into the state website. So I have all the documentation of what has been paid to the town and all, and Marsha has it. Thanks, Wayne. Okay, what's the status on the high, high school track and field yeah. projects, uh, Wayne? Uh, we're just waiting on uh, the contractor to give us the final uh, paperwork on it uh, so we can release the final payment about 58000 I did talk to Eric Rossi, Rosie, um, who was the project manager on it for uh, Castle Blues. Um, and they he expected it would be about two, two to three weeks. It's just about that amount now. So I will follow up with him again in the next uh, week or so and have him follow up with the contractor. Is there anything on the uh, on the, uh, the uh, scoreboard, Wayne? Uh, my understanding, though I can't conf I don't haven't seen any knowledge that they whatever money were was left was taken back by the town. So this, the scoreboard is done. That's my understanding. That okay. we'll put it in under the capital for for next year. Great, thanks, Wayne. Yep. Okay, uh, Gales Ferry in Legend High School summer projects, Wayne. Okay, I updated those last time. We're getting in the final uh, um, couple of final invoices. The um, the tile work in the faculty bathrooms at the high school is just about finished. He hopes to have it finished tomorrow. So I can get the plumber in to reinstall the fixtures and we get those open. Um, and everything else is pretty much closed out. I uh, will have uh, the final numbers. I'll Excel sheets for you guys for your next meeting. Great, thanks Wayne. Yep. Okay, funding for the Ledger High School Auditorium, Wayne. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of on hold right now because I don't know where that's going. Um, when we did the BMS project for um, Gales Ferry um, and we issued the contract, I sent it over to Marsha for a PO and I got back saying, okay, how's the Board of Ed going to pay for this? Um, this was a capital project from the town. So I'm not sure why that came back. So I haven't gone any farther. Um, I informed Steve of this and he was gonna look into it. So I don't know if he made any progress or, um, you know, she basically, I guess the town only goes out the bond in May and we're planning on the project being done after that point or something. Um, so it's kind of been a holding pattern. I haven't, the, the bid is ready to go out to bid. Uh, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, if we do that, is the funds going to be there to start the project and pay the contractor? 
Okay. Uh, Katie or Steve, you got, Steve, you got anything to add about this? Those, this that auditorium project? No, I'm good. Do you, okay. Stephen? Oh, Stephen, no? Okay, I make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>